Hi, I'm Gus, and today I'd like to talk about one of the most powerful decision force algorithms, gradient boosted trees. In our last video, I talked about how random forests make use of a collection of models to call on the wisdom of the crowd. The trees in the random forest were independent models. That is, their predictions weren't related to one another. But another option is to use gradient boosted trees in our decision forest. The basic idea behind gradient boosted trees is to start with a simple model, such as a decision tree, and then add new trees to correct the errors of the previous trees. The first tree is trained on the entire data set. The second tree is trained on the residuals of the first tree, which are the errors between the predictions of the first tree and the actual values. The third tree is trained on the residuals of the second tree, and so on and so forth. This process is repeated until the desired accuracy is reached or the number of trees is exceeded. The final prediction is made by combining the predictions of all the trees in the ensemble. Let's see how to create a gradient boosted tree model using the TensorFlow Decision Force library. For simplicity, let's use the same dataset from the previous video, the Palmer's Penguin dataset. The code for importing dependencies, loading data, splitting into training and test is identical from the previous video, where we trained a random forest model. So I'll save you time and go straight to the new content, creating a gradient boosted tree. The main change is just which class we use to create the model. Everything else is exactly the same. Having this API makes it very easy to try different algorithms. Evaluating our newly trained model gave us some good results already. We used only the default parameters. Let's try something new. TensorFlow Decision Forest has the concept of templates hyperparameter. In addition to the default parameters, TensorFlow Decision Force also exposed the hyperparameter templates. Those are benchmark tuned hyperparameter values with excellent performance but high training costs. To use, you just need to use the parameter when creating the model. After training and evaluating the model again, you can see that with only one change in the parameters, you get a better result. Some pros of gradient boosted trees are. One, as other decision force algorithms, it has natively support for numerical and categorical features and often do not need feature preprocessing. Two, gradient boosted trees have default hyperparameters that often give great results. Nevertheless, tuning those hyperparameters can significantly improve the model. And three, Gradient boosted tree models are generally small in number of nodes and memory and fast to run, often just one or a few microseconds per example. But in the world of trees, not everything is roses. Gradient boosted trees have some disadvantages like 1. Unlike random forest, gradient boosted trees can overfit. Or in other words, it can memorize the training data making the model perform badly on unseen data. Therefore, it's for neural networks, you can apply regularization and early stopping using a validation data set. Two, given the gradient boosted tree algorithm, each decision tree must be trained sequentially, which can slow training considerably. However, the training slowdown is somewhat offset by the decision trees being smaller. And three, like random forests, Gradient boosted trees cannot learn and reuse internal representations. Each decision tree and each branch of each decision tree must relearn the dataset patterns. This usually leads to worse results on datasets with unstructured data like images and text. And now you know how gradient boosted trees work and how to implement them using TensorFlow decision forests. To find out more about gradient boosted trees and other TensorFlow decision force algorithms, check out the documentation linked in the video description. And be sure to subscribe to the TensorFlow YouTube channel so you are the first to know about new TensorFlow decision force videos. If you have questions about TensorFlow decision force, decision trees, or gradient boosted trees, then leave them in the comments below. 
you can also post your questions on the TensorFlow forum, which is also linked in the description. Thanks for watching.